I'm Tyler Suters. You're watching Clean Skies News. Today, President Obama announced $8.3 billion in federal loan guarantees for the nuclear industry, specifically for Southern Company. That company is now working toward two new reactors at Plant Vodal, its facility in southern Georgia. Following the president's announcement today, I spoke to the president and CEO of Southern, David Ratcliffe, about the announcement. David, how important was this loan guarantee? Would Vodal have moved forward without this being in place? Well, obviously, we did move forward because, uh, as I said earlier in uh, some commentary, we actually worked with the state leadership in the state of Georgia, the governor, legislature, the Public Service Commission, most importantly, to decide that this technology was the right thing for us to do. So we had already moved forward with the project. What the loan guarantee does is lower the cost of the project for our customers. So it's a very desirable outcome for us because it goes to the benefit of my customers, not to me or not to my stockholders, but to my customers. So you're saying everything financially would have been in place even without this uh, guarantee from the Fed? Well, we were moving through the project, and as we had need to raise capital, like we do routinely every year, we would have done so. As the construction ramps up and we need to f pay for the construction, we would raise necessary capital. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about where the uh, construction stands right now at Vodal. I know you're waiting for the NRC license, uh, the COL, to be approved. Mm -hmm. Right now, are you at a stopping point where you can go no further until oh, no, that we, comes through? There, there are two things, that, uh, two phases to this. One, one opportunity is to go for what was called an early site permit, which we acquired last year. That early site permit gave us what's called a limited work authorization, meaning that we can go ahead and do certain construction, which we are doing. The, constru the construction operating license, which we'll acquire next year, the last half of 11, will allow us to begin the actual nuclear construction, the concrete pours and the steel and rebar. What we can do now is a lot of circulating water piping. We can make, we can build a concrete batch plant. We can do the excavation that's required on the plant site. So we have a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the second reference I've heard you make this afternoon to the NRC uh, COL being approved. Uh, do you think it's a certain certainty at this point? Uh, today gives you more certainty, perhaps? Well, I think the administration's endorsement of nuclear energy as a viable and necessary technology for the future should heighten everybody's desire to see this as a successful project. So I'm as confident as anybody about our ability to get a certified design and an approved construction and operating license. Uh, which is more encouraging to you? Uh, Secretary Chu today emphasizing the fact that this will be the first of many loan guarantees or at least the program is going forward, or is it President Obama tying nuclear energy to a clean energy or perhaps climate legislation bill and also to job creation? Well, I think those are all one and the same. I mean, Secretary Chu is part of this administration, and he's been a, a strong voice in support of nuclear technology and nuclear energy. I think what's happened here is the President's embraced that in a very public and tangible way, and that's important. David, final question. The role of these Vodal plants, uh, these new reactors, as the first new construction in so many decades here in the U.S.? Oh, I think it's absolutely critical and, and very important that we be successful. We take the responsibility very, very seriously. Uh, this is a major thrust for this nation's energy security and, and reliability of supply. We have to have this technology to be successful. It seems that the entire nuclear industry in the U.S. is extremely pleased with today's announcement. The Nuclear Energy Institute responded to the loan guarantee announcement saying, quote, this sends a strong signal to companies throughout the nuclear supply chain to expand their manufacturing capacity. I'm Tyler Suters, and you're watching Clean Skies News.